Hello, it's Mr. Spracklin here. Welcome to the Inspire to Learn Virtual School Video Archive. This is where we keep all the footage from Virtual School from the last few months. And from Monday the 25th of May through to Wednesday the 3rd of June, we're going to be replaying you some of our favourite whole school assemblies. And today, we've got a real treat for you. Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we are back in the uh, big uh, arena that is our ring um, uh, and, our, and our circus tent uh, with Mr Spratt and the Clown today. Um, it is 20 past 11, which means it's time for assembly, our whole school assembly. It's Tuesday the 12th of May 2020 and it's great to be back live on Facebook and YouTube. Um, it'd be great to see who's watching us this morning. Um, if you're joining us live, do put a comment in that comment box below. Um, we'd love to see who's here this morning. A reminder that this week we've, and over the next two weeks, we've got some exciting uh, things coming up. We've got lots of great learning happening in our virtual school. And hopefully you all enjoyed our very special Grammar Girl Challenge this morning with Mrs. Johnson. Uh, Mrs. Johnson was dressing up in her cape again and flying in to help Freddie with a challenge. And hopefully lots of you enjoyed that this morning. Um, on Thursday, we'll be back, back with our Inspired to Learn quiz. I'm very much looking forward to that. Uh, Quizmaster McBean is very busy writing the questions as we speak. And next Friday, we'll be back with an Inspired to Learn disco. So get your dancing shoes on. We've got a few people saying hello this morning. Uh, we've got hi from Sebastian, who's joining us live. Thank you very much. Good to see you, Sebastian. Hello, pal from Isabel and Toby, who are watching. Hello, Isabel and Toby. Thank you for joining us this morning. I hope you all approve of my haircut this morning. Uh, hello from Hugo and Harlan, who are joining us. Good morning, boys. Thank you very much for joining us live. Now, I was saying that a week on Friday, we're going to have a disco at the Prince of Wales School. And I know somebody that loves a good bit of dancing. And that is the fantastic um, guest this morning. Our guest this morning is the wonderful Mr. Dickinson. Hi, everyone. Hello, Mr. Dickinson. Uh, Mr. Dickinson was a trainee teacher with us last academic year and is now a teacher at Westfield Arts College. And uh, Mr. Dickinson, you brought a friend with you today. I have. She's a bit distracted by the food I've got. There we go. This is Patsy. <laughs> <laughs> Patsy the parrot. Good morning, Patsy. How wonderful to see you this morning. <laughs> oh, tell us all about Patsy, Mr. Dickinson. So Patsy is a green wing macaw. And they come from South America. And she turned a year old last week. Oh, fantastic. How did she celebrate her birthday? Um, well, she had a whole banana, which was a special treat. There <laughs> I love a batch of it. <laughs> oh, she's beautiful. And how, how long have you had Patsy, Mr. Dickinson? I've had her since August. And she's just going through a bit of a molt at the moment. So she's losing feathers. So she's looking a little bit scruffy. <laughs> but, is, and is this the first time you've had a parrot, Mr. Dickinson? It's not. No, I had um, an African grey before this, which are much, much smaller. And the beaks are a lot smaller. So the bites aren't quite as bad on those. <laughs> have you had a few bites, Mr. Dickinson? Oh, I have, yeah. And they're not <laughs> nice. <laughs> So what sort of food does Patsy eat? So she eats, well, we've got some pellet things. She eats lots of fruit and vegetables and nuts. And occasionally she'll have an egg for a bit of extra protein. And I think in the wild, they sometimes eat the odd few insects, but it's not a big part of their diet. Oh, wow. We've got a few people saying hello to you this morning. Miss White is saying hello, Mr. Dickinson and Patsy. And hello, I put a parrot, parrot emoji there. <laughs> and we've got um, Miss Brown says, wow, Mr. D, so excited to see you from Miss Brown. Patsy looks amazing. Hi, um, Harlan, Harlan says, can Patsy talk? She can talk, but it's very much when she decides to. I can't make her talk it's normally about two or three o'clock in the afternoon she gets excited and then she starts having <laughs> a bit of a practice is that because she likes a particular tv program or anything or just i think it must be the time of the day i'm not really sure but she says hello 
hello Patsy and she'll say ooh <laughs> <laughs> brilliant. Absolutely Normally brilliant. if you bring a biscuit in, she'll say oh as well because she she wants it. Oh fantastic. The the Cleels say hello, Mr. Dickinson. Uh, so that's your McCall. <laughs> I said uh, I was gonna get one, didn't I, Jack? <laughs> <laughs> um the, the bakers say hi from the bakers. We love Patsy. Uh and hello. uh Orson says, have you got any other pets and does she get lonely? I have got other pets. We've got lots of pets. We've got three dogs, cats, tortoise, fish, chickens, all sorts. Wow. Um, she, doesn't, she doesn't really get lonely because there's normally someone home. And if we are out, we leave some music on for her. So she has a bit of a dance to that. Oh, what's her favourite music? A bit of Lady Gaga, is it? <laughs> well, she doesn't mind that. She seems to like uh, anything with a fast beat because then she can do her head like that she did a bit of her head. <laughs> and has uh, has patsy seen the dancing dinosaur she hasn't yet no i've not braved that <laughs> that would be an experience although the costume may pop mr dickinson quite possibly yeah i think it would get a bite <laughs> uh this, mrs howell says good morning mr dickinson lovely to see you and patsy this morning hello mrs howell uh and sophie mill says hello from sophie a, a old year five my family remember you as a dancing dinosaur <laughs> <laughs> forever remembered as a dancing dinosaur mr dickinson that will be my legacy will it <laughs> <laughs> definitely definitely <laughs> oh fantastic and is there anything else you can tell us about patsy um what else can i say about you so she's I'm starting to teach her a few tricks. So she'll she'll wave when I tell her to and she'll turn around when I tell her to. Um and she's just starting to lift her wings and spread them as well. But it's very much on her terms. I'll see if she'll do it. Go, on, go up there. Oh. Right, let's see if I, if I can flip the camera around. Oh, there she is. To mount. Oh, look at that. Good girl. Wave. Good girl. Wings. Good girl. <laughs> that was amazing. <laughs> so what did it take to get her to do that? Was it was it practice? Was it instruction? What was it? So the way you do it is when I put my hand out by her feet, she'll go to step up onto it. But then I'll pull away and I'll reward her and I'll keep doing that over and over again. And then I'll start saying wave. And then eventually she gets the idea that that's a wave. And the same with the turn around. I, I use the treat and I'd make her turn around with it until eventually she didn't need me to do that. And with a wing, she automatically does that anyway every so often. So every time she did, I'd say wings and give her a treat. Wow, fantastic. And have you got any other tricks in mind for the future? Well, what I'd really like is to get some of those um, parrot roller skates and see if she can do those. <laughs> <laughs> I've never heard of parrot roller skates, Mr. Dickinson. Oh, you're missing out, Mr. Spracklin. That's definitely something to look out for. <laughs> well, it, may, it depends how long lockdown goes on for Mr. Dickinson, I suppose, how much time you'll have to practice before well, going yeah, back. definitely. <laughs> <laughs> That sounds absolutely amazing. Can we say a big thank you for introducing us to Patsy the Parrot? Well, I think we'll have to check in on you in a, in a few weeks' time and see how Patsy is because I think Patsy's already won lots and lots of fans at the Prince of Wales School. <laughs> People well, saying hello. Isabel said that she remembers the dancing dinosaur. Everyone <laughs> uh, Rosa says hello. Um, Mrs. Troughton in the office says uh, hello, Jack and Patsy. Um, Sebastian hello. asks, can can Patsy fly? And you did um, say that she's opening her, her wing down again now, isn't she? Did you say? She will. I'll, I'll, I'll get her to fly. Oh. Come in, Pats. Patsy. She's not going to do it now. She's going to shame me up. <laughs> what? Come on then. Oh, she's thinking about it. She wants to negotiate a fee. <laughs> If I go a bit closer, will you? Hey! Well done. Good well girl. done, Patsy. 
<laughs> Great job. Uh, hello, Mr. Dickinson and Patsy. Do you know what country Patsy comes from, from Joel and Lucia? She'll come from South America, so probably places like Brazil, um, down that way. And they live in big flocks down there, but there are loads of different types of macaws, but she's a green wing. I think they're the second biggest macaw you can get. Fantastic. That is beautiful. Mr. Dickinson, thank you so much for joining us in Assembly today. We really appreciate you giving us the time to join us. And big thank, thank you, thank you to Patrick. She's absolutely beautiful and has done a fantastic job. Uh, lovely to see you, sir. You too. Take care. Fantastic. Now, uh, listeners and what people that are joining us, we've got another treat in store for you this morning uh, because we've got the wonderful Hello. and fabulous Mrs. Smith here this morning. Hello, Mrs. Hi, Smith. Guys. Uh, Mrs. Smith is here to share a story with you all. Uh, I'll hand over to Mrs. Smith. Oh, lovely to see you all. Right, I've got a bit of a smelly story for you today. It's called Smelly Bill Stinks Again. Are you ready for this? You might need to cover your noses though. It's pretty gross. Billy loved to climb the rubbish bins and he smelt of many things. And I can tell you, none of those was very pleasant to the nose. Bill was clever, tricky tough, and nobody was smart enough to get that rascal in the tub and give his fur a soapy scrub. Nobody except for one. Let me show you the pictures. Look at him. Doesn't he look stinky and disgusting? There was only one who could, a legend in the neighbourhood. Her name was Great Aunt Bleach, and she was every stinker's enemy. Here she comes. She's going to try and clean him, I think. One day, Bill's folks went on a trip, and Bleach came around to doggy sit. Bill heard the rubber gloves go snap. It's scrubber dubber time, dear chap. Up the garden path, Bill fled and jumped onto the garden shed. With bark and growl and howl and yelp, he called around the town for help. Ooh, ooh. From far and wide, in leaps and bounds, there came Bill's bound of loyal hounds. A shocking bunch of filthy freaks. Ugh. Do you want to hear this bit? Who hadn't had a bath in, wait for it, weeks. Oh. Oh. Now listen to the names of these. Hold on. Stagnant Stan. Do you want to know this bit? Who stank of cheese and was a happy home for fleas. And he literally stank of cheese. It gets worse. Ooh. Putrid Pete, a creature... You want to hear this bit as well? Who just loved to roll in his own poo. <gasps> Can you believe that, Mr. Spracklin? A dog that rolls in his own poo. Oh. Look at that. Disgusting. I hope you're all covering your noses at home. Filthy Fred, his favourite dish. Oh, it was a bag of rotting Fish. Oh. oh my lord. And rancid Ron with Pong so strong. Do you know what? They could smell him in Hong Kong. Look how disgusting he looks. He stinks. Oh, I do apologize. I hope you can't smell any of this. In a whirl of fur and fleas, they dashed round Aunt Bleach, snapping at her heels and knees, which made the old girl screech. Please don't bite me. Please don't eat me. Go inside your sea. My shopping bags filled to the brim with sausages and chicken wings and lots of other yummy things, much tastier than me. Look, she's jumping up. It's a bit of a rude picture. Look, oh dear. <laughs> If they ran each greedy mutt, expecting something lovely, but instead they found four ladies who with hair of purple, pink and blue were waiting for them. Guess what with? Shampoo. Uh-oh. Bill's flea bag bunch turned tail to make a desperate effort for escape, but no, bleach blocked their way completely. She's like this, ha, 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 bath time, boys. 
she told them sweetly. Look at this picture. Here she goes. She's going to get them in the bath. Then dogs and aunties went to war, fighting bravely, tooth and claw. Auntie Florence grappled Stan, round and round the room they span. Putrid Pete fought Aunt Chimania. Watch out for the priceless China, rancid Ron and Auntie Glynn, both determined they would win. <gasps> Filthy Fred and Auntie Dee. Now that was quite a sight to see. Look, they're fighting the dogs because they want to clean them up. Mm, let's see if they do, shall we? The dogs fought till they could no more, and then they fell exhausted on the floor. The aunties all let out a roar and danced around victorious. Triumph, proud and glorious. Look, they've got all the dogs now. This is it. Are they going to make them smell lovely and clean? Then they took those filthy pets slowly up the creaking steps, up to where no dog would dare to dream of in his worst nightmare. Where do you think they're going? Up the stairs. Do you want to see? There's the stairs. Mm, it's the bath. Uh -oh. do, do, do. Are you ready? When they came home, Bill's family were really quite surprised to see not one clean dog, but five, no less. Do you want to see them all looking clean? Do you think they're very happy now? Mm, would they rather be clean or stinky? I wonder. Uh-oh, but shame. The house was such a mess. I hope everyone out there enjoyed that story. I enjoyed reading to all of you. It was lovely. We've got a few people saying hello, Mrs. Smith. We've mm. got, hi, Mrs. Smith. We really miss you from Joel and Lucia. Oh, I miss you too. Who are tuning in. Hello, Mrs. Smith. Love from Kizzy. Oh, hi, Kizzy. Hello, Mrs. Smith from Imogen. Hi, Imogen. Who remembers the dancing dinosaur who made her <laughs> laugh from Mr. Dickinson. Uh, hello, Mrs. Smith. Love from Josh. Hi, King. Josh. Hi, Send Josh. Hello, Mrs. Smith from Joshua. He sends you a big virtual hug. Oh, I will too, Josh. And you know, we always like to do our hearts. Catch them out there. And Sophie Mills says, yay, Mrs. Smith. Yeah, yay. Good to see you as well. I <laughs> uh, love that. Big hello from Matilda Mystery Dyer. Hi, Matilda. Um, and we've got a Missy Mrs. Smith love from Ellis. Hi, Ellis. I hope you had a good birthday. You told me lots and lots that you wanted the grappler. I hope you got it. Uh, Flynn says, holy smoly macaroni. <laughs> Mrs. Holy Smith, smoly. great story. <laughs> Uh, hi, Mrs. Smith from Hugo. Oh, lovely. Uh, hello, Mrs. Smith from Isabel. Hi, Isabel. Hi, Hugo. Hello from Lily. Oh, Holly hi, Baker says hello, Mrs. Smith. Hello, my lovelies. And uh, Jack says hi, Mrs. Smith. Jack hi, Bale. Jack. Wonderful to see you all. Thank you so much for joining us. We will be back live at four o'clock for today's Today at Power. Thank you very much, Mrs. Smith. Bye.